like he was bugged by uh, well, one passenger was called Henry. One passenger was called. Hello. Hi there, ma'am. Ron calling from Delta. May I speak to Tabitha, please? This is her. Hi there, Tabitha. The reason for the call is um, I work at the corporate office here and I've uh, been passed over your file by our social media team. I understand you were speaking to us on Twitter. Is that right? Uh, I tried Twitter, Facebook, messaging, calling, uh, you name it, I've tried it. Okay. Um, what is the actual uh, complaint about? Uh, what? for about three hours uh -huh. with someone that finally picked up from, I guess, the supposed customer service team. It was about our trip in October. I've been trying to reach somebody or get an email back or something, and we were stuck in the, we were told to stay in our seats in the gate in Amsterdam trying to get back home, and they kept us on the plane for almost six hours, and I had an 11-year-old hungry and thirsty, so then the captain announced, um, and it was a flight thing, there was a piece missing off the plane. So they wouldn't take off, and instead of just switching the plane, they kept us on there almost six hours. Right. Did they explain to you what what had actually happened um, and everything? The piece was missing off the airplane. Yeah. An email that I posted that someone finally answered in December. 28th, I believe it was, the woman looked into it and she named off all these names on what it was. Well, what had actually happened, um, we were obliged to kind of give full disclosure by our legal department, but um, it was an urgent safety concern and there was obviously a good reason we couldn't let everyone off the plane, but... Yeah. Basically, shortly before... They could have at least gave the kids something to drink or gave them something to eat. Well, at least the, um, the kids. And he asked about that. And you know, we've flown with you all for years. We've got the highest card with you all. And we pay a mm -hmm. big high fee to keep that card. Mm -hmm. And to be treated that way like herd of cattle and trash, it, it pissed me off to no end. No, I, I understand Except completely well. Having they're hungry, and the and the staff being so rude. I mean, I'm an I'm a nurse, and I needed that vacation. Yeah. I didn't need to be on a plane with a bunch of rude. That's the first Delta people that I've ever had be that rude to, to us. I mean, well, they could have gave. 11-year-old kid, something to eat or a snack and something to drink instead of making him sit there for almost six hours with nothing to eat or drink. Well, here's, the, th the, here's the thing, ma'am. Okay, um, I mean, the, the reason that the plane wasn't able to take off, you know, immediately and had a piece removed, um, we actually, shortly before takeoff, received a report of a gremlin on the side of the plane. Um it was actually one of the other passengers that reported it. And on inspection, it was found that that was correct and it had actually ripped off a piece of the engine. Now, the protocol on that is that the plane has to go into lockdown. We have to keep everyone on the plane. Um, we have to. We had to bring in our investigators to, to remove it um, and obviously stop any further yeah, damages. Yeah, they telling us updates. But to keep people on there for six hours, they should have just deplaned us and let us try to find another way home because I missed another day of work. Right. I, I got up for missing another day, day of work and my child missed another day of school because we didn't arrive in Atlanta until later. Then we had to get to Lexington. Then you guys lost our bags. Yeah. So, I mean, what what had, what had happened was the gremlin had caused quite a lot of trouble, to be honest with you. We weren't able to supply any water to anyone on the plane for legal reasons because it's believed the gremlin may have urinated into the water tank. Um, and it did no, also, it did also the mess. The water was bottled. 
Right, but we can't be sure that the gremlin hadn't messed with them previously. We have no idea where it came from or how long it was there, but um, it did also mess around with the bags as well. It switched the labels on some of the bags. I mean, I would still drink bottled water if it was soaked in pee or feces because it would still be safe. It's sealed. Would it though? Um, yeah, but we we yeah. couldn't be certain. The, the gremlins, they have certain powers. We can't be certain if it didn't tamper with the water, even though it was in a sealed bottle. That's that's how they work. Okay, I just... Uh, I've been I a mean, nurse we, 27 years, and <clears throat> in a sealed bottle of water, I, I would still, you know, drink it because... I understand what you're saying, but obviously safety is our absolute top priority. We didn't want to have, like, a nightmare at 20,000 feet, you know? Oh, it was a nightmare already. It was the worst ever. But and trust me, it's, home, it's, it felt like it's a lot worse after even. takeoff to have a gremlin after takeoff. Those, those, those things can cause a lot of damage once the plane is in the air. Do you, do you understand? I mean, we're, we're dealing with a you know, essentially a supernatural entity here. We have no idea what it's capable of. Uh, a supernatural entity? Yes, a gremlin. Correct. Are you talking about an animal? Um, it's sort of an animal. It's kind of, it looks like a man, but kind of hairy and slightly smaller. So you're saying that that flight had a gremlin? Yeah, a gremlin. A gremlin made its way onto the uh, runway, climbed up on the wing, started ripping wires out the the engine. Uh, that kind of thing. I didn't even realize a gremlin was really real. Oh yeah, absolutely. Have, yeah, that. They're completely real. For some reason, they're they're extremely attracted to airplanes. They like to climb on the wings and the engines and mess with them. Well, I mean, I've seen that in movies, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think they did a movie about a gremlin once, or it might have been a TV show, I don't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, they, they certainly are real. They're big, sharp teeth, lots of hairs on them. They jump up on the... They're like... Gah, gah, and they, they, like, rip all the bits off the airplane. So yeah, that's what had happened. Well, I, I'm looking that up, and it, I don't see a real gremlin. Oh, Are you pulling my leg here or what? No. I'm going to have to call my friend now with the veterinarian and ask her if a gremlins are real because... Ma'am, if you want to Google, if you want to go to Google and type in gremlin, well, is, gremlin on plane I, and press images, you'll see not, some pictures. That's what I thought. They were mythical. Um, no. no, they're not mythical. Please. Those are real. Are, gr are gremlins real? Gremlins? Yeah, because this is Delta, and he's saying the reason that we got held up six hours on that plane was there was a gremlin that got into the engine and did damage. And the parts off or something? Mm-hmm. That's just going by the is Grim uh, okay? That's what I'm thinking. But he says that gremlins are real. Google it, and gremlin on plane. And I mean, I've seen it in movies, but never have I seen a gremlin in in real life. And I just googled it and can't find one. So I could direct you but to I'm, where to find them on I'm, Google if I'm that would help. I'm having a good laugh about it though. Oh gosh, ma'am, no, it's no laughing matter. We had a whole thing. No. One of them, one of them, basically, a gentleman on the plane had made the initial report to the stewardess. Initially, she didn't believe him. That was part of the problem. He got quite distraught. Um, and then we we eventually realised there is, yeah, a, a real one. I mean, if you want further evidence, I'm just that they they have it captured in the office below me. I can go down there and uh, kind of let you hear it if you want. Well, I mean... Hold on a minute. Let me go um, down there. I'm going down there now. Hold on. I'm just... I'm just... I, I, oh. I don't know what to say because a gremlin... Hold on a second. We have it in... We have it We have it in a box. If you would have announced that on the speaker, then, yeah, you would have probably had a crazy 
Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm just going down there now. Bear, bear with me a moment. Of... Bear with me. Okay, yeah, I'm just going... Were... Uh, no, please, please, it's not a laughing matter, Mama. Please. I'm just going into the security office no, now where no. they have uh, they have the creature in no, a box. No. Hold it's, on a sec. Mr. Not. Diaz, can I see the gremlin? Hold on a minute. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you can hear this, ma'am. It's in this box over here. Oh, it's angry. This has to be a prank call. Goodness, no, ma'am, not at all. It's. What's it doing? Yeah, I don't know if you're. Ve it's it's laughing at me. It's. Don't let it out the box. Oh God! No, no, no! Oh shit! I dropped the. <laughs> <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> that was a good one. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> <There's a gremlin>. <laughs> <laughs> As if she asked her veterinarian friend, are gremlins real? <laughs> I'm going to call her back. <laughs> I'll tell her we've got it back in, in the box. Ma'am, hi. Sorry about that. Everything is under control here now. The gremlin temporarily I'm, escaped. I'm reporting we... this call, and I've, I had my husband record that. Oh, goodness, ma'am. What, why? What's the problem? Because th that's just bullshit. I mean, that's... <gasps> call people. It's just... That, that's... <laughs> it's a prank. It, ma'am, would, would you like to speak to my manager, ma'am? No, because I really don't believe... Well, I, I, I can get you straight in touch with I a supervisor text, if you want I to escalate this. I text my friend that is a veterinarian. She went to UK veterinarian school, and she said there is no such thing as gremlins. The, she went to the, the, U, the UK uh, veterinary school, the big one, the main one. Yes, the big main one, The main one, the England veterinary school, I believe it's called. Yes, sir. She went there. She sure did. Right, I'm surprised about that, but I don't think they have gremlins in England. <laughs> they don't have gremlins in England. No, Just they don't like the they don't like the climate. Yeah, they're they're in mainland oh. Europe, but um, due to the rabies, oh. you know, strategy they that we took like in the seventies. Amsterdam 70s. because of all the partying. I I couldn't comment on that, man. But I can get you straight through to my manager if you would like to escalate this complaint. Um, we, we did maybe have some compensation arranged for what had happened. Uh, would you like me to do that? Yeah, but I just would like you to stop telling me that there's gremlins on airplanes because well, I've seen them I, 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 I and do things. And I just spoke with my, I text her and woke her up because it's six hours. It's at past midnight there and... You woke she her up said, to ask her about, not. about the gremlins. Yeah, she lives in she lives in England. Oh goodness, I think it's about ten o'clock there. No, sir, it's not. Is it not? Oh, it's well. five thirty p.m. here, and it's it's about eleven thirty. It's eleven thirty in England. Is it? Is it? Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm obviously wouldn't know. Um, is it okay if I put you on a very brief hold and bring my supervisor in here? Okay. I think that's the uh, best thing. You know, I'm... Just bear with me a moment, ma'am. It'll only take 30 seconds. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Because you never can tell. There just might be a gremlin in your house.
<laughs> she was telling somebody about it. Yeah, she was telling whoever was there in the background about it. All right, Kathy, you just say the line got disconnected by accident. Okay, now I'm trying to work. Hello, ma'am. And, and I've had enough of your all bull crap, and I've recorded I, your I'm phone so, call. I'm sorry and about your that. Gremlin stuff and all that. What? I'm going to report it to the real Delta. Ma'am, yeah, ma'am, my name is Kathy. I'm the su- me a second ago. Ma'am, ma'am, my name is Kathy. I'm the supervisor here at Delta Airlines. Uh, the mm-hmm. call got disconnected. What can I help you with? Well, the man that just called me twice, mm-hmm. uh, I've got it recorded, and my husband and son are both here, of him saying that there was a gremlin on the plane, and it tore the engine up, and a all what? this stuff. So I text my friend in England that's a veterinarian, ask her if gremlins even exist, because I'm a registered nurse of 27 years, and I'm sitting here trying to work, and I don't need his his crap okay. no absolutely not uh, could you could you please play me this recording i'm so confused right now what's oh, a gremlin yeah he says there's gremlins that that's what happened with the plane could you please play me back some of that recording please i swear i have had enough of this I, he said he was from delta corporate yeah yeah, I'm from I'm the supervisor here. Yeah, well, sure. Can Can you play a little bit of? This is what the man played me. Then he acted like he got attacked by a gremlin. Said everything was he was getting loose. Okay, so when you say gremlin, do you mean like goblin or hobgoblin? Because I know there's a big problem with that in the states. I swear to God on my life, that's what the man said. Each time I hang up, they call back. So I'm recording this. And, I hung up uh, on him the first time because he um, was giving me the cockamamie story. And then he said, I want to go down to the security office. We've got it still yet in a cage downstairs. And uh, then he asked like he got attacked by it. Then uh, he said, hang on, I'm going to give me 30 seconds. I'm going to try to get this locked back up, and then I'll transfer you to my supervisor and all this bull crap. Now, you know, I'm all about pranks and and having fun, but not when I'm trying to work. I understand. I'm very sorry about that. So, like, I'm just confused because there haven't been – a reported sighting of a gremlin in Amsterdam in years. Like, are you talking about a leprechaun? Because they sometimes go over from Ireland in, in the wheel wells of the oh planes. Oh, God. Are you really seriously doing this, too? Ma'am, I'm just asking. There's been reports of that. You, you believe in leprechauns? Okay. I know one. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, has Delta went crazy? Are you I talking mean, about, like, a hobgoblin? really... This this is really the the meanest thing that I have ever ha- had someone do. Now this yeah, lady I have is talking a, about leprechauns, Lee. I have a leprechaun in my office. I caught one. Do you want to talk to him? No, no, I don't. I want to see how it's thought, or I want to contact the police. Do you hear him? See, those are the things like they come over. They come over in the wheel wells of the planes. Is that what you're talking about? Delta. I want to call Delta, and I'm going to also contact the police department, and then I'm going to also contact. Okay, well, just tell them, though, that, you know, there are no gremlins in Amsterdam, but the leprechauns can come over. It's. That's a thing. We're trying to stop it, but oh, you know, really? some things, okay. things. Well, I hope your family happen. member dies 
and I hope your family dies, and I hope. Whoa! Hold on! You. Hold on a minute! Whoa! 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 Right, that's it. What a cunt! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>